the same place they came from in the past, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll go back once again, third time in one interview to the, the Warren Buffett quote on Coca-Cola. Um, you know, the, the chances are that many of the great businesses of the future are already out there and already pretty darn good. You know, truly great businesses don't mostly emerge out of absolutely nowhere. Um, you know, we can probably go and look at them already. Out there. And they're probably in a relatively small set of sectors of the market as well. I mean, do you think there are going to be many great businesses that are going to emerge out of the airline sector in the future? I'm bet against it. Um, mining, minerals, oil and gas? Oh, I don't think so. Uh, utilities? Think any utilities companies are going to be great businesses in the future? Banks? Any banks? <laughs> 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 so you can quickly boil it down. I mean, the uh, the Stern uh, Business School in New York does a, a regular update on a table that they just do where they look at sectors of the market and they look at their return on capital and they come up with an average, a, a guess on cost of capital. It doesn't really matter. So it's kind of irrelevant. It can't be relevant what the cost of capital is because you shouldn't really be buying things for a one percent. And they give you a list of things that make returns above cost of capital and things that don't by sector. And it doesn't change. You look down the, the cut and you go, wow, those are great returns in consumer staples, consumer discretionary, information technology, uh, medical equipment and devices, pharmaceuticals, some elements of communications and so on and so forth. And then you look at the other side and you go, yeah, banks, insurance, real estate, oil and gas. <laughs> well, <laughs> you have periods of time like last year. I mean, the only way you could really make money last year was own energy companies. That's it. But I mean, the idea that you're going to sit here and have a lifetime of investing only in energy companies and make a great return is bonkers, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, most of the great businesses, the jump balls in great businesses are ones that are either misdescribed or lurk within sectors where you have to think about them more. So if you take industrials, you might say, well, Terry, what about industrials? Well, as I said, and the answer is there's no clear answer because there are some industrials which you say, I wouldn't touch with a basketball. I don't want to be in the steel industry. I don't want to be involved in cement. Uh, you know, there's lots of, I don't want to be involved in construction and heavy engineering. D don't keep me out of there, right? But there are some bits of industrials which be, by adapting certain characteristics like installed basic equipment do pretty well over time. So people like Atlas Copco in compressors and vacuum equipment uh, and elevator and escalator companies like Kone and Otis and Schindler are pretty good. They're industrial. So one of the things I would say to people is whilst I could say, well, the great businesses are there and they'll probably still be there and the very bad businesses are there, the bit in the middle, which has got some great companies and quite a lot of not great companies in there, you actually need to think about what the company does rather than what the MSCI tell you the, the, the descriptor is. You know? hmm. OK, well, Terry Smith from Fundsmith, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, thanks for the uh, for taking the time as well. I enjoyed that. Good. Mm -hmm.